along with dozens of, of mayors and other officials from throughout the world. Uh, I'm going to the Vatican uh, this Tuesday, and I'll be there Wednesday as well, uh, talking about climate change, what California has been doing. California is, is quite extraordinary in what it's doing to fight climate change. It has a cap and trade program. It has a, a big renewable electricity program, 25% renewable today, 50% within 15 years. Uh, we're uh, emphasizing electric cars, uh, high-speed rail. Uh, we have the tightest uh, building efficiency standards in the entire United States. So California is setting uh, an example. We're taking very aggressive steps. Uh, but we're only 1% of the uh, global carbon pollution, and we want other states, other countries to do the same. Well, in Paris, every country is going to say what it'll do, but before then, uh, cities and local leaders and states and governors uh, and provincial leaders can bring to bear uh, pressure, public attention, to make sure that the respective contributions of the nations at Paris are, are the maximum uh, possible because climate change is not being taken seriously enough, uh, not in, with respect to the uh, catastrophic threats, uh, the existential threat that climate change, uh, climate change uh, represents. So we're doing a lot in California, but we want allies and working with the Pope, we think that in addition to political uh, leaders, business leaders, we have the moral leadership of the Catholic Church, and then hopefully other churches, other religions can add a moral dimension to the political and uh, market dimension that uh, has been dominating the debate.